Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2022, slot 3 DILR, says that Pulak, Kasim, Ritesh and Suresh, they participated in a tournament comprising 8 rounds. In each round, they formed 2 pairs, with each of them being in exactly 1 pair. The only restriction in the pairing was that the pairs would change in successive rounds. So, pairs would change in successive rounds. Now, what does it mean that pairs would change? Like for example, if Pulak formed a pair with Kasim in the first round, then he will form pair with either Ritesh or Suresh in the second round. Okay, He would be free to pair with Kasim again in the third round. So, two pairs, two rounds, it should not be consecutive. So, if let us say PQ is a pair, then in the second round, it can be PR or PS. Third round, it can be PQ also, right? It can be back to PQ. So, suppose it is PR and P, PR in the second round. So, it can be PQ or PS in the third round. So, we can come back to the same pair after two rounds, but consecutively, they should be different. Then next, we are given that in each round, each pair decided whether to play in the game or not. So, they may play or not play. If they decided not to play, then no money was exchanged between them. If there is no play, no money exchange. If they decided to play, they bet either 1 rupee or 2 rupee in that round. For example, if they choose to bet rupees 2, then the player winning the game got 2 rupees from the one losing the game. So, loser will play the, uh, will uh, give money to the winner. So, the money is either 1 rupee or 2 rupee. If there is no play, that means no exchange of money. At the beginning of the tournament, the players had rupees 10 each. So, in the beginning, all of them have 10 rupees each. The following table shows the partial information about the amounts that the players had at the end of each of the 8 rounds. It shows every time a player had rupees 10 at the end of a round, as well as the time at the end of a round, a player had either the minimum or the maximum amount. So, this table gives you 3 values that is 10 rupees minimum and maximum. So, on all occasions, whenever the person had the minimum or the maximum that is given to us and whenever the person reached 10 rupees, it is given to us. So, it has been explained through an example also. For example, Suresh had 10 rupees at the end of rounds 1, 3 and 8 and no other round. And maximum he reached was 13 and minimum he had was 8 at these rounds and no other round. Okay, So, he must have the remaining values in the other rounds. So, using this table, we can fill one thing that what is the minimum and maximum value for these players. So, we have four players P, Q, R, S. We can fill their max and minimum values. So, max value for P is 10, 13, minimum is 10. Kasim, the minimum is 8 and maximum is 12. Ritesh, the maximum is 10, minimum is 4. And Suresh, the maximum is 13 and minimum is 8, right? So, we can also find the missing values from the table. So, for P, the missing values could be 11 or 12. For Kasim, the missing values could be 9 because 8 is minimum. 10 is already filled. So, 11 could be another missing value. For R, the missing values could be from 5 to 9. And Suresh, the missing values could be 9 could be 11 or could be 12. So, these are the missing values for these people. Okay. So, that is the information with us. We need to find these missing values and these bet thing that 1 or 2 rupee difference and find the pairs of all these people. One very important thing that it will enable us to fill the information is since they are betting amongst themselves, total amount is constant. So, what will be the total amount? Each of them is having 10 rupees in the beginning. So, that means the total amount is 40. This will enable us to fill some of these values. 10, 10, 20, 28. Pulak has 12 rupees here. 23, 31. So, so Ritesh had 9 rupees here. 20, 33, 7 rupees here. So, these values we have filled. Using this concept, the total amount is 40 rupees. 
So if we know three values for a particular round, we can fill the fourth value also. Now the next thing, one more statement which is given in the end that Pulak and Kasim had the same amount at the end of round four. So round four, they have same amount. Now what is that amount? See, Pulak and Kasim can have only one common missing amount that is 11 rupees. So this value is 11. Okay, so this is also filled. Now the task is to fill that what amount will they lose or will they gain and form pairs. Like for example, initially all of them had 10, 10 rupees each. Right, so Pulak is gaining 2 rupees, Kasim is losing 2 rupees. Ritesh and Suresh, no change. So that means Pulak and Kasim was a pair with a bet of 2 rupees and Ritesh and Suresh did not play in that round. So we need, we are writing the pairs and the bet they had in that match. So this is how we are going to fill. So if two people are winning, two people will lose. So whatever amount is win or loss amount will fair, form pairs accordingly. Now round two, plus one, plus two, minus one, minus two. So my plus two will pair with minus two and plus one will pair with minus one. So PR had a pair, the bet was one rupees and QS had a pair, the bet was of two rupees. Okay. So we have filled round two also. Round 3 we cannot find out because 3 of the values are missing. If 2 values were missing, we could have found. But what we know is, it is 2 rupees gain for Suresh. Now, let's fill round 4 to round 5. It is comparatively easy to fill because we see that there is a loss of 1 rupee each. right? So that means there will be a gain of 1 rupees each for the remaining 2 players. So if there is a gain of 1 rupee each, we will have 6 rupees and 12 rupees. Okay. Now 6 and 12, that means Suresh is gaining 2 rupees in this round. Right. And Ritesh will lose money. Right. Will not gain because uh, like uh, 9 to 6 cannot jump directly. So Ritesh will lose for sure. How much? We are yet to find out. Kasim, we can't tell whether he is gaining or losing. But let us see. If he is like what are the missing values for Kasim? 9 or 11? Okay. If Kasim was at 9, he would reach plus 2. He, if he was at 11, he would be 0 difference. So let us find out that what would be the amounts here. So if he is at 11, there will be no change. If he is at 9, there will be change of 2. So let's uh, do one thing, let's put values for Pulak and then figure out. Okay, so let's put values for Pulak. So Kasim could be 9 or 11. If Kasim is 9, he will gain here. If Kasim at 11, he will remain here itself. Okay, uh, Pulak can be 11 or 12. And Ritesh can be, Ritesh has to lose because 9 to 6 directly is not possible. So Ritesh is losing. That means that uh, like if Ritesh is losing in this game, so there have to be one loser and one winner. So definitely Pulak is losing the game. So Kasim has to be the winner in that case, right? So we know that Kasim has to be the winner because Ritesh is losing, Suresh is winning. So one winner, one loser. We need to have one winner and one loser. So Pulak is the loser. Kasim will be the winner. So Kasim will be at 11. Okay. Kasim is at 11. Let us find values for Ritesh and Pulak. So suppose Pulak is at 12 here. Okay. So let's just take that. Pulak is at 12. So it will be 23. And then it will be 33, 7 for Ritesh. Okay. So if we take 12 here, then this is the scenario. Now here Pulak will lose 1 rupee. Kasim will not lose anything. And Ritesh will lose 1 rupee. Now this scenario is not possible because two of the if one person is winning, there should be one losing and that should be equal amount. Here there is no gain for one of the persons and two people are losing. So this scenario is not possible. So we will get that Pulak was at 11 rupees after this round. So Pulak is at 11 and Kasim is at also 11. So minus 2 right and plus 1 
So this is plus 2, this should be minus 1, that is 8 rupees. So we can find the pair also. So plus uh, 2 and 2 will go together. So P and S is a pair, bet of 2 rupees. And QR is a pair, a bet of 1 rupee. Now 11, 11, no change. So we have PQ as a pair. They did not play anything. And 8 to 6, minus 2 and plus 2. So RS is a player, pair of 2 rupees. Now next round, we see that it is minus 1, minus 1, plus 1, plus 1. Okay. So in this round, we cannot find out who is paired with whom because minus 1 can go with this also or this also. So we will figure out the pair part later. Let us look at the remaining bets. So in this round, we cannot fill anything because no information is known. This round, previous round, no data is known. Last round is quite an interesting round. So if you notice this, round 8, Pulak is at his maximum. So definitely he must have gained something from the previous round. Kasim's maximum is here. So he will lose something. Ritesh is it at his minimum here. So he has to gain something. And if two people are gaining, two people should lose also. So Suresh will lose money. Okay. Now we will find that how much gain or loss is there. Okay. So Kasim is at 12, can reach 11 because like 9 means he need to lose 3 and 11 means losing 1. So only 1 is possible. So Kasim will be at 11. Now Kasim is at 11. So we have 24, 34. So Ritesh will be at 6. Now Ritesh is at 6. So Ritesh gains 2 rupees in the in this round. Okay. Now Ritesh is gaining 2. Someone has to lose 2 rupees. So Suresh loses 2 rupees. That means Suresh was at 12 here. Now if you see round 8, this person is gaining 1 rupee and hence will be at 12 rupees in this round. Now sixth round, again we need to see Pulak. Pulak is either 11 or 12. So let us make cases again here that Pulak, let us say it is 11 or 12, right? Kasim will be uh, at 11 only because he cannot be uh, at 12, cannot be at 10, cannot be at 9, right? So Kasim is definitely gaining 1 rupee. Ritesh will lose something because 7 to 4 directly is not possible and Suresh will also lose something. So these two people have to gain something and the other two will lose something. So let us make a case that Pulak is at 11. So Pulak will be plus 1. Kasim will be plus 1. These two should be minus 1 and minus 1. So if you take minus 1, that will be 6. And this will be 12. Now next round, if you see, this is plus 1, plus 1, minus 2 and 0, which is not possible. Because if a person is losing, a person should win equal amount, right? So that is not happening. So that is why our initial assumption here that Pulak is 11 is wrong. So Pulak will be at 12 points after this round. So Pulak is at 12, so plus 2. Okay, Kasim we know is at 11, so that is plus 1. Now we need to find their loss, right? Now if we see Pulak is at 12, he will not have any change in this round right and Kasim will gain 1 rupees. Ritesh will lose something in this round. So there has to be one person with no change. That means Suresh can be that only person with no change. So Suresh was 12 here. So we have 23, 35. Ritesh was at 5 rupees. So Ritesh lost 2 rupees and Suresh lost 1 rupee. In this round, Suresh, uh, Ritesh will lose 1 rupee. Now we will make the pairs of these rounds. So plus 2 and minus 2 form a pair. So P and R form a pair of 2 rupees bet. And Q and S form a pair of 1 rupee bet. Next round, it is 0 and 0. That will be P and S playing for 0 rupees. And we have Q and R playing for 1 rupee. And finally, we have P and Q playing for 1 rupee. And R and S playing for 2 rupees. Now this is the missing round. So we know that two pairs cannot happen consecutively. 
right now if you see p can go with either r or s but in the next round it is pr so it will be ps here so p can go with r because plus 1 and this is also possible but pr is going in the next round hence it will be ps bet of 1 rupees and qr bet of 1 rupee each so this is how we will fill the table so quite lengthy set and uh, a very challenging one also uh, probably one of the most difficult in this slot let's see the questions now what best can be said about the amount of money that ritesh had with him at the end of round 8 so at the end of round 8 ritesh had 6 rupees what best can be said about the amount of money that pulak had with him at the end of round 6 so round 6 pulak had 12 rupees how much money did ritesh have at the end of round 4 so at the end of round 4 ritesh had 6 rupees how many games were played with a bet of rupees 2 so rupees 2 bet 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so there are 6 such games which of the following pairings was made in round 5 so round 5 we had ps and qr so pulak and suresh was a pair in round 5